I want to say hello. We are live, so say hello. We are live. Hello. How are you? I hope you had a great week and you are having a great morning. <laughs> and um, today, somebody asked for, um, well, last week we were uh, discussing, you know, possible ideas for Thanksgiving and one of the suggestions was custard pie and in this this live show i want to show you how easy um, betty crocker's recipes are to convert i've got a link to her original recipe in the description box as well as the ingredients for those of you who want to make a custard pie with me um, now, all I really did was, um, of course, swap the sugar out to sweetener and I used CK flour instead of her, you know, the all-purpose flour that she wanted. And then I added, because I personally use um, half CK almond flour and half uh, CK chicken flour in most of my recipes i just i think i found the sweet spot <laughs> for my taste anyway um i added a tablespoon of sweetener now i reckon that if you are uh, you like to bake with ck almond flour just by itself you probably don't need sweetener although i think you know it is optional but if you're doing the full ck chicken i would definitely mask that taste maybe even add some extract um, and because uh, the pastry, the pie pastry has no egg in it, give it a taste and see, okay, does this taste nice to me? <laughs> so I think you can alter it. Anyway, really easy, no kneading as such uh, pie crust. Um, we are going to use a cup of uh, CK almond flour. Oh, <laughs> totally unplanned i had an add moment i can see there's no chicken flour in here is there so what is it that looks like it looks like all all almond <laughs> <laughs> and here i was planning to be so professional so so you successfully derailed yourself yeah i'm gonna this just is, please going excuse on. me maybe we should do Maybe we should do a roll call while we're while the, I kitchen, fix while this the kitchen's nonsense. falling apart. All right, let's have a look. We have got Mr. Marzi Mars, Mom S, Danielle Graves, Judy Duran, Christiane Fisk, Mrs. Henderson. Yes, but I'm not allowed to say hi after everyone, and now you're breaking the rules. I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, Stacy Gabler, Kerry Whitbread, Chef Fat Graham's in the house. Lily is here, and we have to break there just to check in and see how hubby's doing, because there were some comments about freezers and things. Oh. You were missed last week, Lily. Uh, number one fan. Oh. Maybe why? Ella is here. Michelle Lukowski. Jojo Johnson. Oh. Patty Dixon. Kathy Roberts. Mary Ann. Oh. Susan, aka Cajun Dagos. Mrs. Louise Brobach. Okay. And we are up to date with the, there's lots of comments people have written, but that's the roll call. So hello okay. everyone. Hello everyone. Now, did I buy you enough time to get back under control? Yes. I, um, my, my cup a measurement for the CK flour is 120 grams. So all I did was just weigh, um, weigh it. And it looks like, I think I have just mixed it. <laughs> so that's what happened. Anyway, a cup of CK flour. I'm going to do a, one second. While you do that, we've got two more additions. Becky is here. Hello, Becky. And Keto Mama. Oh, hello, Becky and Keto Mama. All right. So I am going to add a tablespoon 
of uh, sweetener into my pie crust dough. A half teaspoon of salt. Ah, okay. And you can do this by hand, right? It's not, it's not difficult. The only thing is you're going, we're going to add cold butter to this, the dry ingredients. And I think you would need some kind of cutter just to help you out. But I found that dropping um, the cold butter while the machine is running works really, really well. So if you have a food press processor, I think it's going to make it much easier for you to mix a pie crust. And this is only enough for one pie, um, standard pie pie dish. Um, but because because this pie crust is so amazing in the freezer, when you defrost it, it turns out perfect. Um, just like, you know, you just pick up where you left off. I would recommend that if you're into pies, you can make, uh, you know, just several uh, batches of this in the food processor and then take it out and say if you want a, um, a sweet pie crust, you would defrost, you know, a portion of it, enough for, for, for one pie, and add your sweetener and then, you know, keep going. But otherwise, I would just keep it savory. So for me, it's like, like, you know, Thanksgiving, you know, when we're cooking all day and Christmas Day, when we're cooking all day, it's so good to have something that's pre-done. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to turn my machine on now, so please excuse the noise. Headphone users, beware. It's not that bad after all. No. Okay, so now your dough will look like a be in pea size clumps. You need to bring this dough together a little bit further. And by the way, I didn't say it, but all the ingredients are in the description box. And you will need um, 80 grams of ice cold butter, right? Or one third cup. Anyway, the cold water, two tablespoons. For me, when I use half and half, I will need two tablespoons of cold water. If you're using almond, the almond flour blend, you probably won't need it because um, the almond flour blend, almond flour has, you know, natural oils in it. And the CK chicken flour is quite absorbent, so you're probably going to need more water. We are going to see how the dough comes together. You'll see it all here. So you'll be able to gauge how much water you really need when you're making your own. All right, machine going. Water. I waited to see how the pastry is coming together and then it like almost cleaned the bowl and that's it ready. So fabulous. Anyway, do you want to pass some comments? Yes. So I'm going to bypass all the highs and hellos and all that kind of stuff. Yes. And, <laughs> hello, yeah, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, 
head. Where will we start? I, I, I have to read this one out from Lily. <coughs> Excuse me. She says, my hubby proposed to Betty Crocker and she told him to get stuffed. That is magic. Uh, Stacy says, I swear Mel's hair looks better each week. I'm going to have to go back. I remember her talking about something she was taking for the hair. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy. Mousy says, g'day Mel and Christo. Always a pleasure. Looking fantastic. Looks like you're moving about better. Yes. Jojo says, hi, lovely Mel and hubby Chris. Oh. Hi, Jojo. I don't think you've caught up on Facebook. you got to go see Jojo's chips. Guys, if you are, if chips is your weakness, go to the Facebook chat group and look at Jojo's chips. <clears throat> it, they, that, that is honestly the best keto chips I've ever seen in my life. And... I didn't even look how she did it because I was just like, oh my God, the videos and the pictures. Mm. Um, so if you, if your weakness is chips, go and get her recipe. She's, you know, given a, a written out the whole recipe for us. Um, yeah. And um, they remind me of a brand called Lay's. Lay's oh, chips. Okay. Super, super, super <clears throat> thin chips. Gorgeous. I'll go have a look uh, at some point. I've been traveling all week, so I'm about 9,000 notifications deep. Yes, and it's why we didn't poke out a video this week. Because uh, it yes, took longer than like. expected. Uh, Lily says, okay, I'm lost. What did she put in the blender? Um, it's the pie crust ingredients, Lily. Look in the description box. It's all there. Nancy Griffiths says, hello, <coughs> excuse me, hello all, sorry I'm late. Oh, no, it's fine. Unacceptable, Nancy. That's two <laughs> different answers to that one. Uh, Stacy says, cool, I'm so excited there's a few of us Midwesterners here. Oh. Angela Diaz, hello everyone, it's a couch potato day here, but perfect to watch. Hello, yeah, Angela. <laughs> Cheryl says her chat keeps freezing. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Judy says, I don't know if it's my internet, but everything's choppy, so hopefully that sorted itself out. Uh, Keto Mama, happy first day of fall, y'all. Yeah. Stacy says, oh my God, I love the idea of bulk batch freezing. The mm. only negative in keto, pretty much all homemade. That yes, is kind of true. It, that's the thing with keto is that you do have to cook a lot. But like, I'm, kind of, I'm done with the pastry, you know, and this is what it looks like. It's like really soft. You can do... Lots and lots of things so with it. So cool. And like when it's soft, you would imagine that it would be very sticky to roll out, you know, on the paper. So we're going to put this form a disc um, and wrap it in plastic wrap. Okay. Uh... And it goes into the fridge for actually, I froze mine for 10 minutes, but. Betty Crocker says, put it in the fridge for half an hour. And that's why I'm saying, beautiful to freeze. And just have it ready and waiting. When you feel like pie, go for it. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll go, I've done some prep work and I'll show you what that oh, is. Oh, that's one I made earlier. Yes, I don't want to say that, those words. But um, more comments? Okay, we have... Uh, two big super thanks. Oh, wow. Thank oh, you. One from Marzi Mars who says, Just a little something for my first slice of your sweetie pie. Love me some wow. ketogenized pie. Thanks, Mel Star. Oh, love thank you, you so much. And the second super thanks comes from Stacy. Says, Much love to you both. Oh. Much love back to you. Thank Stacey. you so much. Wow. Do you want me to keep going? Uh, yeah. Just a few? Yep. Uh, Deborah Bremer. Hey, Deborah. Says, Good morning, all. Marianne says, freeze pie crust cooked or uncooked? Uncooked. Uncooked. Marzi says, welcome back. Thank you, Stacey. We'll make your day a very blessed day. Nice. Marianne says, can't wait to try Jojo's chips. Oh, yes. And Jojo says, thanks, Mel. It was done by accident. LOL. My boyfriend ate them all yesterday. Oh. <laughs> They're thin and crispy. Uh, Mom S is excited to make those chips. No, yeah. 
Lily has been experimenting with the loop and flower blend so far the noodles are divine. Yes, I okay. knew they would be Lily. And Jojo says she will make a better tutorial video soon. That was my first. That's awesome. You did amazing. Marzi says, ladies and gents, a reminder for thumbs up, please. Thanks, Marzi. <laughs> uh, Lily says, did anyone ever do those mini pies in a cupcake holder? We didn't. We didn't, but maybe somebody But you else. can see we're gearing towards doing a video for you guys. I'm just, you know, I'm just warming things up. <laughs> right, last two for now. Stacy says, I've had a heck of a past week, especially past two days, and trying to do a craft show, so I haven't been on Facebook, but def gonna watch that chip video. Yeah. And sorry I've had a bit of a week, Stacy. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Jojo says, I can't wait to make Haitian, Haitian pate, pate. Oh, pate? Pa pate. Have a field day, Stacy. I got one wrong. I was trying my best. Uh, Jojo says, I can't wait to make Haitian pate with that pie dough. It reads as pate. I'll speak soon, guys. <laughs> Okay, so... Focus, Melissa. Okay, so when your, um, your pie crust is ready, after either being 10 minutes frozen or half an hour in the fridge, don't roll it up. Just dump it into your pie dish. You don't need... I found that I didn't need to grease my pie dish because um, the dough... You'll get to feel it. It feels like it has enough oil in it. Of course, duh, that much butter. <laughs> so I didn't grease my um, pie dish. Um, I just dumped the dough into the pie dish and then I, using my fingers, I spread everything out and tidied it off. And I docked it just in case um, this pie crust wants to go bubbly on me. <laughs> and... You would bake it in a preheated oven at 400 Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius. So we're doing that now. How long? One second. Oh, my oven temperature is not right. So annoying. We're too high or too low? Too low. It's at 375. It's okay. It just means a longer time, right? Um, anyway, okay. How long? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, right. We'll do exactly. 10 minutes. Let's see what happens. Okay. So, we need to now make the custard filling. I will get my stuff together and then Chris can do more comments. Right. Lily says, I bet a minced meat pie would be delicious using the chicken flour blend. Yeah, yeah. I definitely think so. Uh, Mary Ann's asking, what is Jojo, what is Haitian pate? Uh, Danielle says, it is a heck of a hand workout, but you can make this dough in a Ziploc bag in a truck pinch. Yeah, you can, pinch. you can. Uh, Stacy, oh here we go. Stacy says, Chris, it's okay. I've been waiting for the perfect moment to work in the swearing emojis. Uh, Marzi says, you read my mind, Mrs. Albright. Jojo, ah, here we go. Jojo says, ooh, the first thing that goes at any Haitian party followed by the conch meat. Did you say party? Hmm. Pate. No, party. Oh. The first thing that goes at any Haitian party, follow, so the pate, yeah. goes first at any party followed by conch meat. Oh wow, so it's that good, huh? Yeah. Uh, Danielle says air fryer temp and time. I would go 350 and check on it at the 10 minute mark because for me, oftentimes an air fryer is it works faster than an oven. I don't know how you guys find it, but for me, I always reduce the time and a little bit, uh, the temperature a little bit as well on an air fryer. Um, because it's a smaller chamber. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea if that's even technically no, correct. No, you, you, could be, you could be right. And, and like the food is closer to the heat, blah, 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 whatever. 
Uh, Lily says, did you poke holes in the crust or doesn't it matter? I, oh, Marzi's, I, Marzi's answer. I did, yes. yes. Susan says, great to have this pie crust recipe going out of town the week before Thanksgiving, so I'll make this ahead and freeze it. Yes. And really good. Deborah Robinson. Hey, Deborah says, hi, Mel and Chris. Just saw the notification. Pie is wonderful in the fall and cold months. Thanks. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And... Even in the summer, even if it's warm where you are, because I know in the U.S. it's not cold everywhere just yet, right? Like some parts in Texas, it's still like, what, warm? Um, anyway, it would be cooler than your summer, but it's still warm. Someone said it's for 100 degrees today. Oh, my goodness. You can have cold pie. I mean, do a savory... A uh, pie, a chicken alfredo, it could be lovely with the salad, you know? So, why not? Anyway, we're gonna, for this particular live, I'm going to be doing a custard filling. Now, take the pie crust, save it in the freezer or the, you know, if you're gonna do it in the fridge, you know, and use it up quickly, then do it in the fridge. But, Blueberry pie, mince pie, chicken and mushroom pie, steak pie. I mean, that's all the savory. And then you've got blueberry. You know, you can play around with your apple and your pear, faux pear style pies. And why not? And just, you know, have fun with it. Every single time I try Betty Crocker's recipe with the CK flour, it comes out beautiful i don't know why i think it's the simplicity of her recipes that um maybe the ck flower likes but i have not had a fail yet with her recipes anyway let's move on hopefully by now if you're cooking along your pie crust is ready to come out of the fridge and we can keep going to a bowl add three eggs <laughs> um Yep, and then I, I'm doing a half a cup of sweetener or 100 grams of sweetener. But, I mean, it's your choice. I feel like, well, Betty Crocker says three quarters of a cup of sweetener. I have lowered that to do a half cup because I feel like the monk fruit is a little bit sweeter than sugar. So, I'm going to go with half a cup. Um, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I am upping the flavor to a half teaspoon of ground nutmeg. She just uses a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So I'm going with a half. <laughs> and then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And second. Now, she says to add two and a half cups of hot milk, right? So I need to, I'm going to do, I'm using a half of that, one and a quarter cups of heavy cream with one and a half cups of water. You can use almond milk, but it does need to be hot. So I'm just going to get ready to heat it up. Do you have any comments? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Uh, Kerry says Haitian pate are like sausage rolls, meat wrapped in puff pastry. Oh, mm, they, they but it must really have nice. a very specific uh, flavor and seasoning. I'm going to look that up. Yeah, that sounds like a winner, that one. Uh, Marzi says Breaker Breaker CFG, do you copy over? I think uh, Chef is out and about and he's listening rather than uh, watching. That's okay. Uh, Lily asks, I want, was. Uh, Okay, let's start that again. I was wondering how your dehydrator is working for you. I I last used it, I think a couple weeks ago. It's good. I feel like I need something even bigger though. How do you guys feel? You, Some of you that have a dehydrator, you must feel like you need, I feel like I need two. <laughs> Is that rude of me to say? No, not at all. 
Uh, Lily also asks, how about quiche or however you spell it? <laughs> quiche would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Deborah says she's in New York State and it's nippy weather there. Oh yeah, it would be. Marianne says she is in Rochester. Rochester, yeah. Okay. Uh, Louise, Mrs. Louise, I'm always... Brother, I'm, yeah. yeah. Uh, pea pie like vegetables. Oh yeah. She's uh, asking question mark. Uh, Maybe it's something you said. You can do. You can do what you know, whatever you feel like having. Um, peas in particular are high in sugar, so I would stay away from peas. But why not do something like? You know vegetables do a little bit like an alfredo sauce with spinach chicken um just some spring onion in there some broccoli broccoli chicken and broccoli pie is lovely uh angela d has has sent a big super thanks oh thank you angela thanks angela and she asks yes are your recipes adjustable for single serve portions like the 90 second bread and mud cakes just wanted to contribute to your camera fund Oh, that's lovely. Thanks, a Angela. Angela, so yes. Um, you just, for the pie crust example, divide the ingredients by four, and then you will get a, you'll get enough pie crust for a single size pie, and possibly you could get a, enough of the pastry to, you know, do a topping, a topper layer. So, yes. That's, Hot. Anyway, <laughs> have I started this? No, I have not. You did, didn't you? You want me to carry on? Yes. Uh, Deborah says she's in Wayland. Chef says, LOL, Mars, I'm listening, but only look at comments occasionally. I have a project I need to finish by next summer. That's what I'm working on. Nice. Marzi says, just checking to make sure you haven't dozed off. Now further down, Chef says, actually, I just escaped from Lily's freezer. Oh. <laughs> Chef, I'm glad you made it out she, alive. She? And I have to know how many other bodies were in there besides her husband. Now, Alice says, LOL. Uh, Danielle says, pot pie. Oh, that would I've be. actually got a pot. Yeah. It's, my pot pie recipe is amazing but it's so old that I don't think anyone has seen it but oh that pot pie my goodness anyway uh, Patty says I love my 10 shelf oh, you've already taken out. yeah I love my 10 shelf Kosori dehydrator it's quite large but I never ran out of room and nice. I think and I say this with all the affection in the world I think any normal person wouldn't run out. No, th that we is true. We just have industrial levels of. That's true. Because we. I have to make a lot. I say we like I do anything in this process. I. Lily says, Chef, if you don't behave, you will go back in there, young man. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy says, Have you personally found any different between vanilla extract and vanilla bean paste in your recipes? Uh, yes. I prefer vanilla bean paste because it is, for me, stronger. <laughs> and I mean, I get some kind of joy and satisfaction from seeing the little black um, vanilla dots in, say, a cream, a whipped cream, for example. I don't know how you feel. But anyway, sorry, just to give you the next step, whisk all your ingredients together except the hot liquid. We're going to gradually pour that in so you don't cook your eggs <laughs> anyway carry on okay uh chef says lol i'll be quiet and get back to work <laughs> <laughs> and marzi says if you need a hand i can make my way back up bumpy ride with my new wheels he's got a picture of it looks like a buffalo right uh watch that freezer too bro i've heard bad things happen in there <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> see it's not just me we all love lily that's why we roast her uh, Becky says melded chicken pot pie and it's very nice. So Becky must have tried. Oh, Becky your must pie. have, yeah. I love that one. 
Lily says uh, to Nancy, I love using the vanilla bean when I make ice cream. Oh, yes. Me? Carry on or you? Um, I'll carry on yep, because we'll get, we'll get going. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this together and gradually pour in that hot milk. I think I'm going to get a jug. What's going on today? <laughs> I'm normally more elegant than this. I know. <laughs> it started out in the first, what, 10 seconds? You derailed yourself and it's yeah. just you've never recovered. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, it's a very awkward bowl too. Jeez. It's a disaster. It is. Keto Mama says, my husband has a birthday on Sunday, so I think I will make it for him. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, that's lovely. Uh, he must like pie. Right. Danielle says, Campbell here, Rochester and Wayland. Oh, they must be all in the same vicinity as each other. Maybe, yes. <laughs> I think Lily's got quite a big freezer because she says there's room for Marzi in there too. <laughs> keep going. Mm, keep going. Uh, Becky says, oh, Chris does a very good job. Thank you. Thanks, Becky. Nice. <laughs> Kerry is laughing and says, I love the look Mel gives us when Chris said he doesn't do anything with the cooking process. What look did you get? No, nothing. Watching. I did nothing. I don't know what, Kerry, what are you talking about? I'm going to watch this back afterwards. <laughs> Marzi says, I caramba Lily, that's scary even as a message. And Lily says, Marzi, mind your P's and Q's, young man. <laughs> Lily woke up and chose violence today, didn't she? <laughs> I must I keep going. Oh, I should have shown them the pie crust when it came out of the oven. When it came out of when the pie crust came out of the oven, the butter had set uh, had like floated a little bit to the top, but I'll show you, I mean what was this? Two, three minutes gone and it's settled back into the pie crust. So that's fine. Um, I just create some space for myself. Yes, what's happening? I feel like I'm missing out. Uh, Lily says, Mel, when you make the next pie, make one for my hubby with a file in it. With a what? A file. A file? Yeah, you know, they used to smuggle cakes into prison with a file in the middle so that they could get out. <laughs> uh, Danny says, Madagascar vanilla powder is actually, I think, better than the extract by leaps and bounds, and it's better than paste. Nice. Wow. That's awesome. I get so jealous of the products you have there. <laughs> yeah. uh, Perry says it's like watching the Swedish chef tonight. Why? What's I don't know who the Swedish chef I is, but I can only assume that he's a disaster area. Kerry will have to explain. <laughs> and yes, it is a little bit of a disaster. I think I could have... I mean, the only other bad thing I could have done was break something. <laughs> I've spilled something, well, I've spilled two things, dry and wet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Keto Mama says she, is, she doesn't like pie, she's obsessed with pie. Oh, nice. Okay, well, we're all there on me. And Mom H says yummy. Nice. Oh, Charity's arrived. Hello, Charity. Hello, Charity. She says, sorry I'm late. I'm here now, excited to make this recipe. You're doing good, Mel. Love to everyone. Much Thank love, you. Charity. And Judy says she's been using Madagascar vanilla bean powder and it's excellent. Awesome.
So for me, that turned out really good. Happy with that. It smells nice already. Mm. I know, right? Da 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 Daddy says, told you, lick finger test every time accurate. <laughs> I think I've got my thing skew here. Is it tilting? It's just tilting. What's happening? It's a... Uh, Leaning off one edge slightly. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put this in the oven. Cover with foil first, right? So that, well, I want to, because already my edges are brown. So I'm covering it with foil. <laughs> oh. Kerry says the Swedish chef is from the Muppets. Oh. That's right. I'm surprised you didn't catch that. No. Well, admittedly, well, sometimes I act like a child. It's been quite a long time since I watched The Muppets. I thought, isn't that where you got your nickname from? Elmo. Elmo, yeah. Yeah. I was in uh, primary school. When you got it. When that happened. That's many, many, many years and moons ago. Hi. Now, how long do you need this time, my love? Okay, so my oven is still at 375. And... Betty Crocker wants us to bake it for half an hour. So I think I'm going to go for 20 minutes, remove the foil, and then bake for another 10. Anyway. 20? Yes, yeah, so 20 minutes, remove foil, 10. And marks, good. That's it. What happened? I dropped. Oh, she had some spillage. What is going on today? Anna. This is what it is. And start. <laughs> All right. Okay, so my pie not may may not come out very pretty <laughs> because I spilled in the oven. I keep telling you though, it's got that authentic home. You know, when when things aren't completely perfect. It looks I like, like, and like cartoon looking. Yes, you know, you, it must you have look OCD. like OCD. Yeah, but anyway, it's just me. All right. So while that's going, uh, Lily's asking Danielle where she gets the Madagascar vanilla bean powder from. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Marzi. Oh, he's talking to Danny. Danny says yes, it's from Amazon. Okay. Okay. Uh, Second channel is the name of this person. I've seen that name before, I think, in our comments. Hi Mel, you should use egg white, yes. not so soggy bottom. So no soggy bottom, if egg, you use egg whites. Egg whites we. There's no eggs in the pie crust, by the way. If that's, if that's what you were thinking of, like a soggy uh, pie crust, there's no eggs required in the pie crust. I do love though that it is high in fat because um, you know it's keto so I do like that so I don't mind that you know the butter melts a little bit it does dry out you guys saw so I'm happy with it I mean yeah it's fine <laughs> what are you doing mm? <laughs> who said what <laughs> Kerry said bork 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 <laughs> bork bork uh, said with love she says <laughs> uh, number one fan says I think I can even make this crust I love that I don't need to roll it out which is intimidating to me yeah and, and like for, for me if I can find a way to do something easily then um it looks doable but also there are some people on um, who follow me who are not well they either have a disability or um, they're struggling with an illness so I yeah I'm, I'm always conscious of that so I mean for 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 us who do have mobility that just makes 
uh, for easy recipes. So I'm really pleased to hear that number one fan. <laughs> uh, so Danny's asking Marzi how he's healing, and Marzi says, uh, thanks for asking, Danny. I'm dealing with it doing physio until surgery right after the renovation is done sometime mid-November. Yeesh. You know what? That's coming up too. It is. It's still a long time it's to be... It's two months uh, away. Yeah. Oh, it's just long under. Long time to be immobile. Uh, Susan says, now with my new rolling pin suggested by Mel, I won't roll my pie crust too thin. Yes. Oh, good, Susan. Oh, you, you would like... I love that rolling pin honestly i've chucked every other one away and i think i used to have three before i got this one so anyway uh becky says mel how long would you keep your posts on youtube please don't take them off whenever i feel like making anything i look up and you would have it thank you so much oh thank you no i don't think it'll ever get to um a stage where I will remove I've only ever removed one video and that was because I upset somebody <laughs> by doing it what? What, oh. a, what a drama yeah no I think we'll keep our live happy and we won't share the story to answer yeah. the question uh, yeah they stay on there forever yeah as they long do. as YouTube is active they yeah. will stay on there forever yeah they, they never get removed uh second channel yeah says uh they were saying to use egg whites on the pastry crust so the liquid does not make it soggy would love to see a meat pie recently i ordered a meat pie recipe from the bakery they made a curry meat pie that actually sounds pretty good you do you, i don't think you guys are aware but i have a pie full meat pie four different meat pie recipe video it's got it's got really nice flavors one is a jamaican flavor there's go have a look at it i should have actually linked it in the description box for you but um i think i will do that now because <laughs> yeah uh, Kathy says, I so appreciate all you do for us. Oh, thank Thanks, you, Kathy. Kathy. You're welcome. <laughs> Danny says, okay, we all know I'm not normal. <laughs> Smiley face. I'm making cheeseburger pie. I disagree. I think that's very normal. And in oh, fact, cheeseburger pie. I would love some cheeseburger pie. I would put pie. the cheeseburger casserole things in, the, in a pie crust. Oh, heck yes. Uh, Kerry says, Danny, have you ever made the che bacon cheeseburger soup? It's one of my favorite recipes. I've actually had that. That's gorgeous, actually. Yes. Danny says, Marzi, I had, I had to have a dual discectomy. Discectomy? I'm sure somebody's going to tell me if I'm saying that wrong. And lost control of my left leg in 2019, down for eight months. You will get this stay strong. Wow. Wow. So sorry to hear that. Uh, Mom H says she woke up at 1 a.m., drove two hours to a hospital, stayed there until 6 a.m., finally got released and on three different meds now, going to bed to try and get some sleep and don't feel like eating it. Oh. That's a shame. Oh. oh it sounds like Mom's been through it lately. Yeah. Uh, Charity says, I appreciate that. I have MS, so sometimes it's kind of rough making it through a lengthy recipe. So she's talking about you rolling. Things. Yes. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, Danny says she'll have to look up that recipe. Lily says, good night, Mrs. H. Hope you feel better. Uh, Alice says, get well, Mrs. H. Yeah, same here. Yeah, all the best. Um, Danny says, egg whites seal the pie crust so it doesn't absorb anything. Oh, so do you like paste it on? maybe like a brush like a wash or something mm. i think honestly i mean i used betty crockers i think use your recipe you know i just um i haven't used egg white in a pie crust forever um even when i made like um you know the pecan pie mug cake I just put almond flour, butter, uh, salt, 
and sweeten it in a, and just, you know, pressed it down. I go for the easy. <laughs> and this one's probably easy as well, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so Carrie says she'll put the soup recipe in the chat group. Nice. Thanks, Carrie. Uh, Susan says, those of you that like meat pies, I have one from Louisiana. Natchitoches. 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 I'm sure people are just messing with me at this point. Natch something, meat pies. Happy to share. Oh, okay. I should have read further down. Nakodish. Nakodish meat pies. Oh, shut up. Mrs. H says cheeseburger pie sounds so good. Uh, Becky says for your CK flour, I cannot get the bamboo fiber. What would be your substitute? Oat fiber. Oat fiber for now. Honestly, I would just check uh, when you remember to check because it's looking like the bamboo fiber is just so hard to come by it sold sells out within hours so um they might have a notify me button they might not if there is one click that <laughs> um but yeah i would just check all the time to see if it's in stock such a shame Uh, Danny says, just the FYI, Mel, I'll be making these for the freezer. Yum, yum, looking amazing. Thank you. I thought it'd be really convenient for you, um, you know, in the truck because you don't need to do any, you can put it in your blender and it's going to come together really good. Use your egg white recipe if you need to um, or if you want to. And, um, you know, you can just... Pick something, because Danielle meal preps a huge amount. You could take something that's already in, you know, that you've got taken out the night before um, and just add it in into the crust and then, you know, sprinkle some cheese on it or so, uh, some a cauliflower mash or, you know, whatever you want to add on top for a topper. And I mean, there's your dinner. It's nice. Second channel says, Mel, you are a legend. I have never seen so many live videos that you have time to share with us. Thanks. Oh, thank you so much. We, yeah, we have, we just have fun. We're hanging, <laughs> we're hanging with our crew, <laughs> including you. Uh, Marzi says, Mrs. H, kiss moi. There's a little something for you. Have a fantastic sleep and feel brand new for tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I wish I lived near Mom H. Yeah. You know, I would so go in... Even if just sit with her and just have a cup of tea or something. Go and make her food. Cup, yeah, well, I would. I would. I would. Lily says using a tortilla press helps a lot for rolling out stuff. Absolutely. Danny says yes, like an egg wash under apple pie and pumpkin to keep crispy. I'll remember that for when we're doing the pear and the apple. Uh, second channel thank says, you. sorry. Sorry, I just said thank you. Uh, second channel says I saw the egg white trick used on the bottom of a pie crust or bottom of the crust I think it was American Test Kitchen. Oh, thank you. I, d I didn't know quite what you mean there. So obviously by my uh, response <laughs> uh, Mom H says hi Marzi, Mars, Mel and Chris. Thank you all mm. Kathy says I think she brushes the pie crust with egg before baking it. So egg white. Yeah. yeah, okay I think we've established Establish that one. Like that. Uh, Danny says, full recovery, new, no issues, and they found out I was severely anemic and was able to fix that while I was down. Uh, Danny bought bulk bamboo fiber. <laughs> nice. So when did you get, able to get it. Did you get it just at this uh, time when they, it was available for a few hours? Danielle? <laughs> Uh, Marzi says, Mel Star, can you put the link up for that mince burger recipe? You know, the one I went crazy with. Oh, the, it will inspire some people in the room. The cheeseburger casserole. Well, I have just put the chicken pot pie video link in the description box for you. And I've done those pie fillings, the videos there as well. 
you got to watch that pie fillings video. I am sure there's there's chicken and mushroom, there's, and I mentioned some others, but yeah, go and watch that video because every single one of those fillings is so yum. Anyway, I will get... I'm going to do the link. The ba So, Marzi, that's, we're not doing casseroles though. What do I do? I'm just teasing. I know it's because people are talking about bacon and cheese. Uh, Danny says, no, I was only telling you what some egg white wash for. I don't end in today. Oh, okay, so oh, 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 okay. I got it. Second channel says, my dad was a pie maker in the Philippines. I remember he used to make for us uh, strawberry pie. Such happy memories. Oh. Yeah. Alicia Cuoco? Cuoco. I apologize, Alicia. I haven't seen your name before, so I need to explain. My job here is to butcher everybody's name. Uh, so I hope that I got that right. Alicia Kuoko says, Hi Mel, thanks for these amazing recipes. When I made your chia seed cinnamon rolls, they were a hit. Today I am making your almond flour cinnamon rolls. Oh yes. Oh, nice to meet you, Alicia. Thank you so much. I honestly, those chia cinnamon rolls, they were so, I could only ever eat one. If you have somebody that has a big appetite, they just need one of those rolls and they'll be set. It's so good. But yeah, I loved the mini cinnamon rolls as well. I'm just, I have another trick up my sleeve regarding cinnamon rolls, but that's for later. <laughs> uh, Chef says only nine thumbs up. Don't forget guys. So now you need to do yourselves pictures. Thumbs up, please. <laughs> double tap guys, double tap. Duh. No, what's double tap? <laughs> I, don't know. I, 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 when they say double tap, I'm like, what am I double tapping? Am I liking your video or am I following you or what am I doing? I want to know what the double tap does first before I press. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Danny said, oh, Cheryl has given a big thumbs up and lots more thumbs up. Thank you, Mom S. Thank you, Mom S. Uh, Danny says, yes, last time I bought him out, 15 bags. 15. <laughs> Danny goes in. 15. <laughs> wow. Uh, Paula Sloat, that's another hello, new name. Paula. Hello, Paula, and welcome. She says, hello from Disney World, Florida. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> Marianne says, oh, sorry, the S and H is more than the cost. Uh, shipping and shipping handling. and handling, yeah. Oh, second channel sent as a super sticker. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Wonderfully supported says hi. I don't think oh, I've seen that. How are you? I have seen you. You have. Okay. Yes. Hi, how are you? <laughs> uh, Lily says, yes, Mr. Mel, you do the best butchering on this channel. <laughs> and Marzi says, Christo, Mrs. Albright coming in hot. I know, I've been expecting this for... <laughs> Like, I don't know, maybe half an hour now, because we all got pretty well stuck in the lily at the start. <laughs> Love you, Mrs. Albright. Uh, Keto Mama says, Mel, can you link what you did for your hair? Oh, it's in a live. I'd rather just tell you, because I don't want you to go and watch two hours of this stuff. <laughs> um, the brand for essential oils that I use is um, May Jam. You need to get uh, equal parts or they sell them in 100 ml, ml bottles, right? That's what I get. Bergamot essence, rosemary oil, and at the moment I'm using castor oil. Castor oil. I am finding that the castor oil is not as potent as the onion juice that I used to use. So. Uh, what I did was I uh, grated red onion and had the same amount of the onion juice as the bergamot e e essence and the rosemary oil. Now, I changed because of the onion juice smell, but I am finding that the onion juice was more potent. So you would mix up your essential oils and spray it half an hour before you wash your hair 
every time you wash your hair. Now, if you wash your hair every day, don't do it every day. Like, do it maybe twice a week, I would, because I wash my hair once a week because I have un straight hair <laughs> non-straight curly 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 hair so I only need to wash my hair once a week and that's how much I do it and um yeah it's I I'm actually quite tempted to move back to the onion juice at this point but I mean castor oil is so good for everything so can't do any harm uh, Alicia says, that's okay, it worked out, you're welcome Mel. Uh, I made a huge batch and it lasted two days. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> uh, Danny says, uh oh, it's sticking in my Wilton 6 inch silver bait pan, should have used my 4 inch spring form. Okay, yeah, I haven't tried it in that pen. Danny also says the hair stuff is amazing, I use once a week. Leave them in one hour, hair loss cut by three quarters. Wow. That's pretty impressive. That's awesome. Yeah, it's working for everyone who I know of that has come back and said what they thought of it, yes or no. Um, we've all had positive feedback on the hair remedy, so I'm pleased about that. Yay for not losing hair on keto anymore, so... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Susan says, <coughs> excuse me, I've done too much talking this week. I didn't even win a prize. Susan says, I forgot about the hot appetizer recipes. Sorry, I'll put them in with the narco dish meat pie recipe. Okay. Lily says, I use my mom and grandmother's rolling pin. Such good memories of them both when I bake. Ah, oh, that's I would I would do the same thing if I had my grandmother's. I think everybody remembers like the grandma's rolling pin. Oh yes, because it either made something really nice or it chased you around the house to to give you what for. Second channel says Mel, I have discovered a dirty keto recipe for mashed potatoes using real potato. Grate the potato, wash out the starch, then you add it to the cauliflower. It tastes like potato too. I wonder what the carb. I was going to say, like. second channel. What are the carbs? Because that, I mean, that's the deciding factor, isn't it? Um, what are the carbs like? And the question is, do you need the potato if you added something like potato extract? Do you know what I mean? I just, I'm just looking after your carb count for the day. Please, <laughs> please, that's all. I'm not judging. <laughs> oh, that smell up. Right, so 10 minutes now. 10 minutes now, but I think. going to protect this crust because it has darkened even un under the foil so I'm just going to do that I don't know if that's going to work anywho I know, right? And you were giving me uh, hell last week for my microphone solution. No, but what would you do for this? For that? Yes. Probably pretty much the same thing. It's good to see how I'm having a positive effect on you and you're, you're thinking logically about these problems and coming up with solutions. It's good. <laughs> Now, 10 minutes? 
Yes. 10 minutes and start. There we go. My oven has become extremely low, people. So, hmm. It's now come down to 350. So I think it's going to take much longer than that. As Betty says to you preheat your oven to 425. I had mine at 400. And then um, she wanted us to reduce the temperature to 400 and now mine's sitting at 350. So I do think mine is going to take much longer. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's still quite liquid. It is, it is still quite liquid, yes. Right, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Kerry says she uses Hair Care Bear hair gummies and they seem to be working. Her hair is growing. Oh, Danielle was talking about mm. gummies. I've heard a few people talk about them as well. So Nice. It's good, people have got options. I don't have an issue with my hair growing. It's my hair falling out that's my that was my issue. But, yeah. I'll come back to Marzi's uh, question here. Uh, I just keep on the hair train. Uh, Charity says, nice, I was just thinking Mel's hair looks great today, it's so healthy. Oh, thank you. Danielle says, my hair is baby fine hair, extremely thinning, so straight, it's a ruler. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Keto Mama says, thank you, love, for explaining the hair thing. Oh, no problem. Lily says, what is the hair recipe again? Oh, uh, Danny's answered, Lily. Okay. Pay attention, Lily, come on. Uh, second channel says, is there a pinned recipe for the hair I'm growing to at 45? No, but it's in the comment below yours, second channel. <laughs> uh, Lily says, they did both melt, lol. I'm not sure what that's for. I don't know. Thank you. Uh, Nancy says, what was the brand on the essence oils i missed it may jam m-a-y-j-a-m for mother may jam may jam charity says i'm 49 with white hair uh second channel says yes i'm like 20 carbohydrates limit but i bake a large dish so i bake a large dish right so the count is less per serving Oh, that's nice. As long as you're, um, you know, you're uh, mindful of the carbs and things like that and you're fitting it within your daily limit. Like, I, I would never judge somebody for adding something that's dirty, you know, kind of thing. I think do what you can because any change you make is going to be a good change. So, yeah. Oh, what now? Who's, why are you no, smiling? No, no, no. I not at not at this comment. Lily says, "Thanks, Danny. I will have to try. I had cancer and had a lot of hair loss, so I'm oh. interested actually to know how it's how it would work for that." Yes. Yeah. Uh, what I was laughing at is Chef says, "I almost Thank fell you, off the ladder with that comment, Chris. I got chased with a lot of things, but never a rolling pin." I don't know whether I was an exceptionally naughty child or my by... grandmother never chased me with a rolling pin. I have to say, I did see it in cartoons. Maybe you watched too much Tom and Jerry when you were little or something. No, imagine... but I don't think your grandmother chased you with a rolling pin either. She did. Thank you. And you probably would too. <laughs> imagine this mouth on a four or five year old kid. Oh yes. I think yes. you'd probably chase me with a rolling pin too. Oh right, all right, okay, I get it. Uh, <laughs> excuse me Angela says uh, just watched your chicken pot pie video and I'm excited to try it will you be making a remake using your new CK flour instead I mean we could do but here's, here's the thing Angela it's like if you just google not google search on YouTube cook with Mel pies there's an obscene amount of pie. I've done an obscene amount of pie videos. <laughs> I, I, yeah, it's kind of like, eek, did I really? <laughs> There's a lot of pie videos. So the thing is now, with the new video that we want to do, we've never done sweet, like full size sweet pies. And that's where I was kind of angling to, um, but then, you know, 
I'm could I'm uh, in two minds now. Should we do another meat pie or savory pie video, or how? What do we do? I think certainly um, a pie crust. Once you, because once you have um, a pie crust and you see how the pie crust performs and what it looks like, etc., you can do your own thing, like with the fillings. So I feel like we must have a pie crust with the CK flour. Definitely. <laughs> yes. Uh, Marzi says, ooh, that pie of yours looks and smells delish. Smell, smell a vision. Yeah, smell a vision. I can confirm. Uh, Susan says, my hair had gotten so thin, my doctor noticed and put me on minoxidil. I haven't had hair this thick since high school. <laughs> wow. I didn't know there was a chemical that was that... No, like a, a drug. It's uh, minoxidil is like the, the active agent in Rogaine or Regain. You know, like the hair? Yeah, but oh. I've, I've heard, like I've never gone down that route because, or down that way, because um, the ones that I looked up always had these hefty, heavy side effects. That's like finasteride so, and things that you take in pill form. Okay. <clears throat> they kill your libido or whatever else. Right. Minoxidil is like a topical thing. Oh, is it really? The only I haven't heard of it. Problem to be fair. with minoxidil is the day that you stop using it is the day that everything just regresses back to where it was. But I mean, the thing is, it's like it's like brushing your teeth. You're not all of a sudden going to stop using toothpaste. No, as long as you keep using it. <laughs> yeah, you you'll be fine. You just fit it into you. <laughs> Becky says, I gave up with the grey, silver hair is in fashion now, I said to myself and others. <laughs> oh yes, and uh, talking about, someone said they had grey, they have grey hair and they're only 49. Um, I mean, I, I dye my hair with natural henna. Um, I, I, I used to use boxed. A dye and used to you know didn't look after my hair until I lost it <laughs> and then I switched to uh, all natural henna and then I've been doing these other you know things um, but yeah I would uh, have a look there are products that can reverse um, gray hair apparently I haven't tried them I just dye my hair because I don't have I only have like a few it's not like a huge amount so I haven't considered using um, a gray reversing hair product yet I will probably get there though <laughs> uh, second channel says also we have low carbohydrate potato I buy from Aldi in Brisbane it's about 25% less carbs it's called the charisma potato I think it would be good for the more low carb people I've you're, seen those charisma potatoes. You're, so. you're probably next door to us. We're on the Gold Coast. You're in Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Uh, Danny says, Lily, I use the cancer shampoo Nioxin. Nioxin. Oh, yes. And this Mel recipe hair tonic working so much better and not $50 a bottle. Nice. Kerry says, I saw a photo recently for protecting the pie crust. They used a second pie tin cut out most of the base of it, tipped it upside down and put it on top of the pie. That's a good idea. See, that's a logical solution. Danny says, Be <laughs> Becky, I'm going to age ungraceful. Come on, Silver, we be all good. <laughs> that's awesome. Lily says, I bought this oven for my tabletop and it works well. Oster air fry oven, 10 in 1 countertop toaster oven, XL fits two 16 inch pizzas, stainless steel French doors. Sounds good. Wow. Oh, Bonnie. Bonnie Kaufman. Bonnie Kaufman. How are you, buddy? Good day, y'all. Just got here. Sorry, I'm really sick today. Bad, bad cold. Sorry, Bonnie. Oh, Hope sorry, you get better Bonnie. soon. And we are happy that you could get here. Nancy says thanks. Chef is busy laughing. I'm assuming at my rolling pin story. Uh, Chef also says I did get my share of wooden spoons broken on me. <laughs> it won't stay on. 
Did you hear that? Sorry, no. I'm, she, I'm having problems. Jeff says I did get my share of wooden spoons broken on me. Really? Yeah. I didn't have that. I just got chased with a rolling pin. Now, time is up. But I don't think my pie is ready. <laughs> Marzi says he saw and felt a wide range of his grandmother's slippers. <laughs> no, it's definitely not. Nope, still liquid. Don't burn yourself. I think I am. Not with the way today's gone. Go. I would actually... Just because I'm, for those of you who attend every single live, thank you, but you would know that I'm not the most patient person in the world. I would have honestly just added a tablespoon, shush, I would have just added a tablespoon of CK flour to the filling and been done with it so that it can thicken up faster. But this I, waiting is... I am in shock. What? I wish you told me this. You're not the most patient person. I never would have guessed. I have zero patience. Don't I know it? <coughs> Excuse me. That's karma. Uh, how long? That uh, thing's fallen off, by the way. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> how and long do you want to go? If I open the oven, it's going to lower the temperature. Long. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm just going to, I think. I'm going to know. I'm going to do a job. Because life is just too short. What? Now it'll stay on. Like I said before, I'm just amazed after all the crap you gave me last week about my microphone stand. Look, that was last week. Don't live in the past. <laughs> I haven't flattened the whole thing. <laughs> oh, we, we will get there. Right. Oh, it's good enough. <laughs> oh. Right, how long? Go 10 minutes. 10 minutes, all right. Yeah. <sighs> uh, Danny says, oops, I burned my pie. Lily, you... Lily says, you didn't burn it, you just made pie toast. Uh, Mom S says, I dye my hair with nice and easy auburn color because my hair is an ugly gray. Okay, right. Danny says, nice and black on edges, but soft under, so got to get out of pan. I'll be making this exact pie crust again using non-stick. <laughs> ah. I think Danny's had a few issues today. <laughs> uh, Becky says, not sure what ugly grey is, but I use coconut oil as conditioner. Coconut oil, nice. Mom S says, it's like dishwasher blonde, Becky. Looks lackluster even when clean. Ah. That's a shame. I doubt that, Mom. Yes, I think your hair looks perfectly fine. And certainly in the pictures that we've seen on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Susan says, CFG, making your tamales for Christmas. We love tamales, but stopped when my hubby was diagnosed as celiac and I became keto. Great treat. That's good. Anybody else who doesn't know, Chef has an amazing tamale recipe. So go and check out his channel. It really should go viral. It should. Uh, Becky says try coconut oil or make it shiny. Uh, do you want to go? Or you Finish. Uh, Lily says I will tell you about my granny. She had two sides. One side was good. The other side if you got on that one you better run but then again she would chase you down and give you what for. Uh, Keto Mama says Mel you are being taught patience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Becky says does Mel not have a roll of aluminium foil? I tried that one first. I tried that first, and then the filling needed to cook in the middle, so I did a border of foil around the pie crust, 
And then now I'm trying this other solution. A bodge job. So is what you're we'll trying. see. We will see. Oh, if you want to, because I, I mean, normally we just have the custard pie, but if you are baking for a special occasion, I added a third kind of option for you. So, of course, you got the crust and then you got the filling. This is the third option. It's just a half a cup of heavy heavy cream with three tablespoons of powdered monk fruit whipped up to stiff peaks. And when my pie is cooled, won't be able to show you because obviously this pie is probably going to be ready in maybe an hour to cool down because if you apply heavy cream on a hot pie it's just going to melt right so I have to let it cool but there's another option for you I mean I could just have it like this I could just have this mm. <laughs> I loved it so much uh, <coughs> Ravi is here Hello, Ravi. Ravi says, hi, Mel and Chris, back on the show. What's up, Ravi? Uh, Susan says, I still dye my hair because I'm more gray than my husband, who barely has any at 59, and I don't want to look like his mother. Yes, that's an, that's the annoying part with, uh, with gray hair. I mean, uh, what I'm considering doing when I get tired of this is um, I want to actually have like a strip of white white hair you know coming down the side <laughs> not as bad as Cruella de Vil because she's half and half but a strip of it and I, I think I want to try that otherwise just go like a trendy you know how these young people some of them dyed actually dyed their hair and it looks like a blue grey or something like that I might go that route as well so, I don't know. But I'm thinking about the future, at least. <laughs> I think it'll look quite cool, actually. Hmm. Never know. I might hate it. <laughs> you might. I hate my grey hair. Uh, <clears throat> Danny says, Okay, it burned to edge and I didn't put in enough cheese binder. Crumbly, but pics in Facebook. Okay. Becky says, Mel, please show us how to... Pipe the cake pie, but you just explain oh, yes. why you want. Then, uh, that'd be before. Lily says, patience is a virtue. And how about putting that cream in a nice cup of hot chocolate? I know I am bad about that one. <laughs> oh, yes. Chef says, Lily, my neighbors were granted permission to tear my butt up. I got from neighbors, mom and dad when he got home. <laughs> Uh, Chef, I know that feeling. That's how it was when we were younger. I'm going to take this out. You're going to take it out? Yeah. You think it's done? I think when it cools, it's going to be good. Yeah, it's jiggly now instead of runny. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I don't know about you guys, but I have to have a little extra something, something. So I'm going to put some nutmeg on here. Oh, that smells good. Somebody, Becky, was it Becky asked how yeah, to Yeah, the reason for is because she's bought, uh, Becky says she's bought herself a set of decorating, bought? A decorating set. I bought set. myself a set of cake decorating during Amazon day and I don't know what to do with it or where to start. Oh, okay. So get a nozzle like that. Okay, so it's the one, even if you have a plain one, it doesn't matter. But when you buy, I... I mean, I have the little tiny uh, piping tips. You want to get a big one. So, basically, can they see this? Yes. So, you plot down and go around. And go around and go around. And, I mean, look at that. 
so good. I do another. So, like, just, you know, just have a practice. And if you mess it up like this, I'm just going to put this cream back into my bag. And I think it needs to go back in the fridge because it is um, looking like it's not so peaky anymore. <laughs> uh, Charity says her hair is white with pale pink highlights. Got to keep it fun. Oh, yes. That's, oh, that's something I would like. What happened? Sorry, Marzi. I meant to ask the question, but remember I said I was going to come back to a question? Oh, and then yes. I got carried away with everything else and I forgot. Sorry, bro. Uh, so he's just reminding me here. Uh, what were your thoughts on the rapid gel? Um, can we talk about that off, off camera or something? It's got nothing to do with cooking. No, that's right. Uh, yes, she said only if you're up to it. I. Uh, Lily says, at Chef, I was an angel when I was little, but I did have those horns, lol. Lily, I very much doubt that, my dear. Uh, Charity says, oh my yummy. Yes. <clears throat> Marzi says, oh my yummo. Thank you. Chef is busy laughing. Lily says, yummy yummy past the pie. Uh, Danny says, my parents had to use anything to kick my butt that they could lay their hands on. My halo is bent, broken and twisted, but I have super glued to my horns. <laughs> <laughs> Chef says, now I want pie. Uh, Mel, Lily says, Mel forgot the part after you go round, you scoop it and put it in your mouth. Yes. Vicky <laughs> says, thank you, Mel, for the I was, tutorial. I was trying to be elegant. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Vicky. Uh, Ella says she wants the cream. Kerry says, I just got called into work. Catch up on everyone next week. Oh, okay. See, See you, Kerry. Bye, Kerry. Hope you have a good week. Uh, second channel says, is that a butter and cream whipped so it stabilizes in the fridge? Uh, what the are we... Stuff you just put in the fridge. Oh, it's, it's not, but, uh, it's just cream and sweetener. Actually. That's all. I could have added an extract, or I could have added some spices, but I just left it plain. Uh, <clears throat> Danny says, oh my god, this crust is delicious. Nice. No, that was the 10 minutes. Let's switch out more. Uh, Celiac Revelation says, Thank you for acknowledging that some of your followers have disabilities. Some amazing warriors follow you for their own reasons to help control their chronic diseases such as mine. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's a Thank lovely you. comment. It's a beautiful... Uh, this see, I love... That's why I love her so much. Yeah. She's always very thoughtful and um, we're often on the same page. <laughs> 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 that's nice so it's lovely when you hear that kind of stuff yeah like all the the joking and messing around the side it's uh, nice that you can help people oh yes even if it's just one i'm good yeah uh marzi says is that your famous whipped cream cheese recipe it is not mr mars it's just heavy cream and sweetener now Yes, I said that I left it simple because I, I, I love it when people, when you are inspired and you think to yourself, my goodness, this was so simple. What if I added this and this and this, or what if I, you know, things, simple recipes for me inspire people. They make someone me feel like I can do it and then when I do it and it's so easy and it possibly could remind me of something or um, I have a favorite say my favorite spice blend is chai or you know something I'll add it to my cream and then I have my favorite thing ever and it was so simple to make <laughs> so <laughs> that was the thinking behind it <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Mom H says, uh, Chris, why are you coughing? Did you take a mouthful of cream? 
No, I didn't. That would actually make a lot of sense. It would, and I can see how she got there, but no. I have been away this week, Mom, for work, and I've been doing uh, a lot of presentations, which means a heck of a lot of talking, which I normally do anyway, but this was quite excessive, so I've, I've kind of strained a few things, uh, and it tickles when I speak, so I'm Same. trying not to cough all the time. I'm about a day away from losing my voice, so all your prayers have been answered. Oh, I was, uh, yeah, I should have masked my joy a little bit more. Yeah. Lily says, now I want key lime pie. And Becky says, apple pie, please. Uh, Danny says, okay, maybe this is sharing too much, but a suggestion, get some extremely cheap frosting or grab some warm Play-Doh and then practice with the tips. Oh, that's, that's nice. A great idea. That is that is a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ella says coconut cream pie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> coconut cream pie. Oh I hope yes. I got right. uh, Lily says I have to go. Hubby came back from digging his way to China. Take care and God bless. He's <laughs> See you, Lily. Have a good week. Oh. You know, I did everything I could to shorten the live show. I'm so sorry you guys have to go. But let me show you the pie. I can't tilt it because it is very hot. It's jiggly at the moment. So I know that when it cools, it's going to be spot on. I can't even, yeah, can't pick that up barehanded yet. Come uh, up a bit. Up. Like that? Yeah. But you can see it's jiggly. Wibbly wobbly. It's wobbly. Yeah, I'm actually going to enjoy that very much. <laughs> um, you know, with the side of my sweetened cream. So, any more comments? <coughs> or are we all caught up? Uh, Ravi says, uh, consider making a keto book. We are working on it, Ravi. We are. Uh, Danny says, um, ouch, ate half my mini burger pie, ate way too much, only three total carbs, been helping my sanity since day one. <laughs> nice. Mrs. H says, ah, I think that was a response to what I said. Uh, Becky says, yes, please, I want jiggly pie. Oh, yes. Jiggly, jiggly, jiggly pie. And that's a wrap. You have yourself a fabulous weekend. Stay in your PJs if you can, or go have some fun, enjoy the weather if it's nice, and we love you guys, and we will see you real soon. And we'll post pics of this in the Facebook group, so make sure you go there and join. Yeah. Ciao! Bye, guys! <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>